Trick or treat. You're not wearing a costume. Here you go. It was just trick or treating season, which means two things. First, you probably have more candy now than you know what to do with. And second, you've probably seen a thing or two about generosity. Now what is generosity or being generous? Let's say someone gives you candy. You could say that this one is more generous than this one. But is being generous about how much you get or about how much the giver gives? Am I more generous if I have 100 of these and give you one? Or if I give you one of these, but I only have two of them to give? If I give you one, I've given you half of all that I have. Well, what's God like? With God, it's both. In fact, let's go back to trick-or-treating. Think about costumes that you've seen or that maybe that you wore. A lot of times when you have a costume, you copy what someone else looks like. So you can look like a beekeeper or you can look like Stitch or you can look like a chicken or a banana or a hockey goalie from the 80s or whatever. Well, what about a God costume? What would that look like? Jesus was talking to some people and he said, you know how to give good things to your kids. How much more is God going to give good gifts to those who ask him? Or when Paul was describing God, he wrote this, God didn't even keep back his own son from us, but gave him for us. Don't you think that along with Jesus, God will give you everything you need? Now, I'm not sure exactly what a God costume would look like, but God wouldn't be the one taking candy. He'd be the one giving it. God always gives more than you expect. And he's generous in how much he gives and how much we get to receive from him. He's a generous God. Happy Halloween. Your pumpkin's rotting. I know.